yesterday and all through the night we had about, about a half inch, three quarters probably inch of rain. It rained pretty heavy last night. And uh, Kobe was able to find some dry stuff. Kobe knows the cheat code for this activity. We've been doing it for so long. <laughs> Code, yeah, I just type it in. <laughs> Good. Think. Done. <laughs> <laughs> no one. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, eight minutes. You didn't get a sunny spot, so you know, even though it is good material, it's not in the sun. Yeah. That much wetter, right? And, and then I, I like, uh, I pick them in gradation. So I'll pick, the, I'll like, I'll take in all the small branches that are the smallest ones I can find and get like a bundle about this fat press. And I'll put that in my pocket, put it somewhere dry, and dry. And then I'll get another gradation of like a little bit bigger ones. And then gather a bundle of those, put those in my pocket, and then I'll get some just, you know, bigger stuff. But all of it really dry, as dry as I can find. And I just did all pine. Yeah, and then the, the really key is in how you arrange it, right? With the air. You Here we go. The right amount of air. Here we go. Right Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. In the right kind of hey. it's hard nice. to describe. It's just an experience thing about uh, getting it in the right amount of air. air That's because he's paying rapt attention to avoiding the abrasion of fiber on fiber while around that spindle. A nice point of view to start with. You don't want to so this is the natural well, cordage well, modification well, for motor. Well, With P cord, it doesn't matter. You know, you rub a P cord on P cord around that spindle and it's rugged. Right. Not take so this can actually but when you get out there and do a natural cordage, that's going to snap it. Yeah, that's like spending two hours making a freaking cord and then it breaks. I'm watching this. I don't want this, this cord ever to touch. You know, if you have somebody who's going to return and you know they're going to be, like, he's, he was stuck here, so I tortured him and told him to start with hemlock roots. Rootlets are great, but they demand perfection. And normally, you'd start somebody on something like clothesline or this type of natural fiber and then maybe bump them to basswood and then you get them you know, incrementally harder. But I started him with the hardest pieces until he got smoke. And then he went experimenting with other fibers and started getting holes like that. Does it help? So it's really, there's a lot of different variables. A lot of different variables, a lot of different approaches. You've got to know your student. Or where they're at in that stage spectrum. If they're all easty or southy, they'll be a lot more patient with it than if they're in, in that southwest space. Of, that doesn't work. I've, I've, I got enough dirt time under my belt, but that's not that's not worth it. No. If, if I caught them earlier, it might have been worth it because their game would be that much better. Yeah, it's not great in when we get returned students, we tell them no birch bark for fire making because it pushes their envelope. Of course, if they need fire, they're going to get birch bark, but pushing the skill just beyond that ability or that dependency on whatever it is that we're working There's a lot of things going on, but really, the lactic posture. So, <laughs> tilting the spindle or tilting your bow, also being mindful of the ride up and down on that, on that spindle because of the tilt. You want it to ride up and down. Yeah, it, it's going to, right? So, you, your strokes are now a little shorter as well because you're limited to that. You don't want to pop off the top or pop out the bottom. You're limited to that. But that's the difference between the natural cordage and the peak cord. Yes. You want it to do that ride. You will, well, it's going to ride because of the tilt. You want to be aware of... Okay, well, if I put it straight and it just stays... In that space, yeah, you don't have to worry. There's nothing there. But if I... Oh, if you do it with natural cordage and you do it straight, it's going to pop. Because the, the fibers are not like this anymore. They're crossing as well. you got to grab your hand. I, I, I like this. You I want to demonstrate that, Mike? Just kind of just yeah, tilt your. Yeah, so it's like. Yeah. Put it on. This is the. Now, if it's doing it like a P cord, as it goes, it's going to go and it's going to rub against the other one. Yeah. Yeah. 
fiber on fiber. Right. Mm -hmm. And that rubbing, you know, <laughs> try it, you know. Right. You want to find out what happens. So you want to separate that. So yeah. we want to separate it like this. Try to adjust with the angle. That's the perfect angle. That's the perfect angle. Yeah. Yeah. In the yeah. ride. Yeah. I can show well, you a little bit of the angle. It's much different. It's my body's over it. You want to keep it everything straight. Nine three angles and lined up. Yeah. And with P-Core, because of that horizontal, you can reef the whole length of your bow, it makes it much easier. Mm -hmm. But like, yeah. like you noticed, that ride up and down with the tilt means you're also limited to how far back and forth you can go. So now, the plateau has always been natural cordage. It's impossible. You can't do it. If you do it, you just got to be aware of the next step in that evolution. Tilting either your bow or your spindle and being limited to how far back and forth you can stroke and keeping that. Mike, when, just out of curiosity, when you're using dog mane for your cordage, do you want it about that thick? Uh, that's a little thin for me. I'd like to go kindergarten pencil thickness. That's your dog mane right there. There you go. Uh, is that basswood or dog mane? Basswood, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's, to me, this is a good thickness for dog mane milkweed basswood. The, the three, at least up this far north, the three most rugged cordage fibers. So you're talking... Yeah. At least that. Yeah, kindergarten pencil. Right. Right there. Is that your pencil? Yep. Okay, that makes sense. My first pencil. Who's my first pencil? Don't make fun of my pencil. Not nice. You're not going to lose that. Nope. It's already a spindle. My first pencil. <laughs> But I think that's a ride that you have to pencil, I think. Yeah. But, yeah. This is that cedar you guys just gathered. Yeah, it's... it's uh, there's a couple different variations here at the bottom uh, that I like to do with, with this. It makes it tough. Is, yeah, this is yeah, quite a, you just, you so you I want it to go in the real tight. <clears throat> that's what I want. And it's still going to loosen up on me. So if I can get it like, okay, that's tight, <clears throat> and move it a little bit more, and fold it back this way, a bunch of wraps. <laughs> that will enable me to kind of hold it there and then adjust it on the fly if I need to. I'm going to put a little bit of beeswax in here. Make life easier. Got it now. One of the biggest challenges to natural cordage is holding it and keeping it tight. A lot of the times, it's not going to take a knot. So we tell folks, when you make a cordage, it's body length. And you're only using this much. When it breaks, you slide it up to use the next bit. This is just habit. I hate smoking at the top. Just a waste of energy. Four thirty. The, the wood sounds good uh, when you're cutting it because yeah. it has the right yeah. sound. Can you can use Frustration uh, parameters around bow drill are usually 20 to a half an hour, 20 minutes to a half an hour. So we force a break up for dinner or lunch mm. to break it up and then come back with new eyes and usually they break through that frustration. Mm -hmm. I need this too. A couple modifications. My habit for doing P Corp bow drill is to put the thing in under and go away from it. Just take, especially if your technique is not. Good. If I do that, muscles, it's not going to work. It's going to break. So I got to modify it. Kind of a, up on a little bit. Um, make sure the string is loose. Like yeah, so the string going top away top is on the top. Mm -hmm. You guys will figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Are you using just out of curiosity? Because there's just obviously all different parameters. The wood that you're using for your handhold is the same wood as your set. No, it's usually denser. 
Okay. So it is more dense. Harder. Okay. More dense. The other bit here is on my knock facing you. It's not facing me. You want to set yourself up so you can adjust it. That's so that you can look down over the top and see it's hole? Nope. That is so when I angle it, my spindle doesn't go flying out the knock. Okay. Right? Okay. I, seriously, I have always done. When Bruchak taught me how to do this, paracord, natural, whatever, he's always told me to put my notch out so that I can watch the coal and see the coal. And then, you know, some people say put it towards the back so you can shield it if you're using rain and stuff like that. But he always taught me to do that. Yeah, I do. It's right here. Oh! Which passed him on the rocks. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> so if you want neck grease, that's how you were saying. It's all right here in my neck. See how it starts to slip as I speed up? I'm going to add a little bit of wax here, see? To help lubricate. Just like hand drill, downward pressure is more important than speed. Um, well, the back of your yeah. Well, I would set up a level that by giving a good chat in the And I was 14, you know. I've been doing it for 15 years. Give one more go. The more smoke you see, just means keep going. But it's a good sign. Yeah. Keep going. That stuff was really way up. We pulled it out. Yeah, yeah. But you see the, see it starting to spray a little bit. Really, and that's with minimal abrasion. If I use this the way an actual, you know, pre cord is done, it's already been broken. Oh. Yeah, you know, you guys have seen people get cold. Um, some modification. Oh, there, now you've got a coal, right? Two person. So a little bit So, what you can do is so just let this sit. Two a person bit modification bow drill. I got three person modification. Natural fiber bow drill. Put a lot of that. Any Kobe set. Finger Yeah. Or Jim. Jim can help. Hey, Jim. Get a sec. You want to do a two-person blow drill thing? We do. Get it. So there's two things with natural fiber cordage, right? With blow drill. The first thing is we don't want it to abrade, so we tilt it. So that's kind of like this. Second thing is the tension. The tension keeps loosening up, loosening up, and that's what gives people the most amount of problems. Um, so we designed this second bow drill person to come in. And this way, if you're out in the woods with a buddy, you would be like, okay, let's get the most out of this string. The tension is an issue, so what I'm gonna have Jim do is, I'm gonna be bowing, and he's gonna be on there like this. Right, so he's got one hand on the bow, one hand on the cord. And as soon as that starts to loosen up, he's gonna pull on this cord and tighten up. Does that make sense to you guys? Mm -hmm. Now he's pulling with me, mm -hmm. and as soon as it loosens up, he's tightening, pulling it tight, pulling it tight, mm -hmm. separating it like this far. Mm -hmm. like this. That's a beautiful pool. Right, so Frick, you can use that bad duck and do a little coal. And now he's going just like blowing on a coal on fire, right? That's a nice coal. You can direct that into the side to make more contact. There you go. Always side of it. Now I need one contact. The most useless tinder bundle imaginable. You can even put it above your head. Like, maybe this. Yeah, now you should be able to pull it. This should be a good tinder bundle. Just drop it and I'm going to catch it with your hands. Oh, fuck. Right. Nice. Yeah. Fire! Fire. Yeah. So two person natural never, fiber never try this come. cordage bow yeah, drill. Yeah. And start towards me. Oh, very nice. It's already starting to loosen up. So we need you to pull out on the cord. The easiest friendly fire to fire a lot of light in there. As you can see with the camera, that cord isn't rubbing against it, so, which is really good. That's what we want. Actually, 
want to put that on a pile? Here, put that on a pile of wood paper. And then you just stick this flying hot wood blow on it. You blow it on it, though. So the notch wasn't good. <laughs> That's the problem. Man. And the wood's uh, green, but or wet. Still got smoke in there. Yes, fire! Dust around the outside there. That, that shows me that the notch wasn't cut good. Yeah. Too brown, not black enough, right? Well, that too, that means that it's usually pretty wet. So this is still wet, but all that dust piled up around the outside means that my notch isn't wide enough. It's not collecting enough of the dust. It's not doing its job. Instead, the dust is building up around there. But yeah, it's still brown. It's not dark. We were getting some good smoke there. I bet if this was some good dry cedar, we'd be just fine. I blame Jimmy Kane. <laughs> But well, you guys see the difference, right? With one person or two yeah, person. Yeah. Yep. It's like this, this trick really works really well. And then the third person, screw up. We don't need the coal, right? We know we know Bojo works. <laughs> so with three people, this is what I've done. Some people will take. Oh, really? Yeah. What we'll do is, um, you can step in there. Yeah. You want to do like, I knew it was going on. <laughs> <laughs> Three people. Oh, no bow. I love this. Yeah, I do that. No this bow. This is awesome. Yeah, we'll do the roast. Yeah, you want to it? Yeah, yeah, my wife's called. I got my yeah. hands. Yeah. Yeah. So you can use that over and over again. Yeah. So we got a low guy and a high guy. How do you know that? Give me the high guy. Well, look how much the video No, Kobe, you're going to be the high guy and save my foot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying there? I've done that before. Bloody foot. You want to make sure it's dry to get that. So you don't have to lift so hard. Because that cold is dying. <laughs> so remember, what's going to happen here is you got to be pulling kind of even, like you're on an angle here. I don't know how that's going to affect it. But he's got to be pulling, and at the same time he's pulling, just a little bit less. they got to act as the bow and keep the tension on the whole time. Yeah, that's good. And I'm using the pressure. So we'll meet up again in about an hour. Yeah. 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 I'm going to keep a high and low. I'm going to keep a high and low. Whatever you're ready. Uh -huh. Why? As soon as you find that word, that's perfect. Get close, Joe. Great. Before it's starting. And then finally, after drying it out. So that was taken in a break. So it's the one person, the two person. Drill. Was it going out? Makes sense. And finally, after drying it out, all that was. You're right, right. Yeah. Yeah, we get five See how he's got a coal right there? At all times. There's still smoking that type of thing. You see your spindle is flipping. Yeah, right on the damp sand. For beginners, cedar, everything on the cedar, which is very interesting. That's right. All right. All right, we'll pick up again at 5.30. That gives you an earth living five day that I taught me to. Good. Never gotten coals on hands over four. I started them on this. Ten minutes every meal time. Just floating, floating, nice and slow. Had them go as slow as they could. And on the 
third or fourth day before the class ended, I brought out some horse feed, gave it out to them, and said, here, you guys know Bojo already, I was showing Bojo. And they all got pulled from one after the other within like a half hour. Before that, they were a mess. They were just like, ah, going down. I was like, no, you gotta just do it real slow. Focus on that form. Me and Nate used to sit for hours in the TPs. What? <laughs> what? Tea? Did you say tea? Bear tea. Bear tea. tea. Bear tea. Drinking yeah, yeah. tea. Made of bear. Barley tea. Long steep barley tea. Uh. <laughs> 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 well, that's the long, that's where the long steep comes in. <laughs> This is horse weed that's been sitting right there for a week. So, it's got poured on that. No, it's a, it's a little different. It doesn't have that. Yeah, and you're ready now for your next fire. Yeah. How do you do it? That's how we Oh, there you go. But I would take that's up this way I can explain it. Horse weed. Horse weed, yeah. I wish. See, it's starting to crack on me. This is. I got materials working against me right now. Sometimes that's kind of good. What's your fireboard doing? Uh, I don't actually like that. I, I don't have any success in genetic integrity. No. This is my rehabilitation for my shabby mm -hmm. hand. Mm -hmm. I have one. Like that. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> it helps a lot. See, that's why I don't give my spin yeah. a <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I need better materials. Yeah. We might be gotta make a